Hello everyone, this is Dr. Chirag. So today we are going to start with a new series in R and that is for beginners, means those people who really want to start with R but they don't know how to start with. So I have already created a video on how to you know install R and how to you know uh, install R Studio as well. And I have also discussed in a particular video what this R Studio means to us. Okay, so uh, so I'll be you know taking uh, the next next step of the same, and now we'll be working with uh, creating an object on R and try to understand how R works. Okay, so if uh, uh, if I you know take R as a calculator, I can I can take that as well I can use R uh, you know like a calculator as well for example in case if I want to write 3 plus 4 in R and press enter here in the console window I'll find the result and the result is absolutely correct okay now uh, R actually uses the entire formula of board mass as well you know you must be knowing board mass so in that case also in case if I want to work on say 50 45 multiplied by you know say 2 divided by you know per 23 and then plus 45 so then I would be getting some result out of it so it's actually using the formula of you know board mass which we people have learned in our primary classes not only that in case if I want to use you know this parenthesis means brackets so r will be giving preference to these brackets first so how it is possible so let's see that as well okay so here in r if i write 4 3 plus 4 divided by 2 okay you will get some result in case if i press enter so this is now 4 is divided by 2 which will be 2 and then 3 plus 2 is 5 but in case if I you know, say write 3 in parenthesis 3 plus 4 and then divided by 2 it would be you know some other result will come because now here it will first solve this 3 plus 4 and then it will solve the another operator. So all the operators of uh, mathematics be it multiplication which is denoted by this star. In case if you want to you know, use division, it is it is being denoted by this you know backslash. Or in case if you want to use plus, yes, addition, and this is subtraction. So all the operators can be used here in R. Not only that, we have other operators as well. For example, double star is there, double percentage is there. Okay, and we have other operators as such okay this as well so we will also learn okay but that will take some time please wait for that okay so let's go to the next step that when we start with R we start creating an object in R actually whenever we start with we start with creating an object in R because you know nothing is being saved here in this particular case you have solved some you know numerics here and nothing else but have you saved anything here no you have not saved so how can you do that so we'll be you know learning about that okay and what is this and what is this object in r what do you mean by this object see object and see uh, r is you know o o p language object oriented programming language you know what does that mean actually you have to create an object and then you'll start working on that particular object what do you mean by creating an object in R what do you mean it means that when you create some object say for example you must have heard of a term called variable so we cannot call a variable a variable in R you create a variable by creating an object only okay and then you can start working on that not only that if you want to create a graph how would you refer to that particular graph that I'm referring to that particular graph so that will be you know saved as an object and then we can refer to that particular graph as well 
not only that in case if i want to create a table in case if i want to create a data set and how i'm going to refer to these table these data set because i am creating them as an object in r so nothing else so in case if there is some entity in r how r will recognize that entity that recognition is with reference to an object okay so r will be creating an object and then r will refer to that particular object and then how to give name to that particular object how to give name yes we can give name as we give name as we do nomenclature of any other variable the only thing that we need to take care of we will not be using spaces in giving the name to the objects okay for example if i want to give name see uh, see uh, uh, rajesh kumar okay rajesh kumar so i cannot give this particular name to that particular object because there is a space either i should put a uh, you know uh, uh, what we call underscore or i can write it without any space here okay so that is possible so this is one thing that i need to take care of what is the second thing that i need to take care of while creating an object is the case sensitiveness okay r is case sensitive in case if you know you you give a name as age okay age to that particular object okay so this age has a capital g small and e small but here this age is different than this particular age I mean these two objects are different why because this is having a small a this has a capital a not only that that this age is also different from these two ages why because it has got two other capitals even this age is also different from others because it has one small and two cap so you have to be very careful of careful of one thing and what is that case sensitiveness of r okay so let's give it a let's give a name to uh, let's create an object and give a name to that particular object that object may contain a number that object may contain a data set that object may contain a graph or any kind of object any set of numbers any set of graphs or anything okay so uh, as we as we move ahead as we progress you know you know more in this particular course we will learn more about you know how to give name to various objects okay so let let me first clear this this particular thing okay so how how can i clear this in a console by pressing control l okay so in case if i press control l it will get clear okay now let's give it give a name let's create an object and can you see here this particular uh, this particular space this space this space which is called environment is empty what does that mean it means in case if r has got some object okay that will be shown here in this particular window in this particular window okay this is called environment okay so always keep it on environment in case if you want to see the history then only you you should click history or connections or tutorials what are this what are the meaning of this history connections and tutorials we will be you know discussing more about that in the coming videos okay but before that let's start creating an object okay let's do that so here i want to create an object say the name of the object is x and and please mind that this x is a small x okay so sign of assignment okay you have to press alt and then press minus sign okay which is adjacent to the plus sign key okay you will get this particular sign which is called sign of assignment 
we can also write equal to as well but that is not being you know recommended so it's always better to use this particular sign of assignment so i have created an object with the name x which has got just one value that is called 5 okay so this is a numeric value that i have given to this particular object so in case if i press enter so now the object has been created here okay you can see here this particular object has been created so this so there is an object which is x and whose value is 5 okay now r has got something to work upon means r has got an object with the name x and i can work on that particular object as well so if i want to ask r to you know recall this particular object so there are two ways in case if i write print and then parenthesis i'll write x so r will immediately recognize the object because you have created that object press enter and you will find and r has given you the value of that particular object but for the simplicity and for the ease of the users in case if you just write x and press enter you will again get this so r actually takes it as you really want to recall now what is the beauty of this particular script pane okay you will find this you know script pane absolutely you know empty so here whatever i am writing on console this particular console pane okay it cannot be saved okay here i can save as a script so here i am writing x and then you know the same thing as 5 but here this particular script will not be will not run in case if you press only enter you have to press control enter in case if you want this script to, to be run so control enter so here this script has already been run in case if i ask r to print this particular you know object which we have just created that is x okay so control enter so see the result that we are going to get that we can see in the console window so whatever you are going to do here okay you can see the results here so in case if i want to create another object say y okay and say y is 7 it's another numeric object i have created so control and okay now i have created another object with the name y so i have two objects with me okay and these two objects are x and y and i can see that in the environment pane that yes the objects are there so can i work on these objects yes i can because these objects are already there with r and r recognizes these objects so can i start working on that yes so let me do something with these objects can i work on some operators that we have just learned yes x plus y i would like to see that control enter and here i as i told you that the result can be seen here in the console pane so this is x plus y is 12 i can see that okay now can i see x minus y as well yes i can control enter yes x minus y is minus 2 5 minus 7 is minus 2 yes can i also do x multiplied by y control enter yes 35 x divided by y yes let's let me not write here let me write here x divided by sorry x divided by y control enter and i got the result okay if you see the results have you know, uh, you know one two three four five six seven decimal places so can we reduce these decimal places or can we increase yes that is also possible that we will be learning in the upcoming videos so what we have learned as of now how to create objects in r and how to work on those objects okay 
So this is the object which actually has got a value which is numeric in nature. Okay. However, it we may say that it's integer as well, but it's numeric. Okay. Can we create an object which actually has got a character? Okay, some text can be written there. For example, I want to create an object with the uh, with the name as uh, uh, name. Okay, let me not create here. Let me create here name and okay. So let me write students students. Okay, sorry students name okay so i'm creating an object with students name so let me you know give some name here uh, the name is say davis okay so have you noticed that i have you know put in two inverted commas there yes you need to because in case if it is a character you need to put an inverted commas and it's not required for numeric okay you have to be very careful of this so control enter so now there is another object has been created then the name of the object is student's name and the value in this particular object is a text called davis so can i can i recall that yes so there are two ways of recalling Either I can write print students name, okay, control enter, yes, Davis, it can, sh you know, it is showing me that it has already recalled or I can directly write like that, so not here, okay, you can write in the console, you know, pane as well, students name, control enter, so this is one and the same thing. You can write like print and then name of the object or you can write name of the object as such. So I hope that this video is helpful for you as far as creating an object in R. Okay. So next video we will be discussing more on working on various logical operators or mathematical operators and working more on creating a series of numbers object which has got a series of numbers okay so thank you so much